In this video you are going to revise some of the key ideas concerning acids, bases and salts that you have covered in the past. If there is anything that comes up in this video that you have forgotten, you should write it down in your notes. Here are the three key reactions of acids that you should know. Acid plus base forms salt plus water. Remember bases include substances such as metal oxides and metal hydroxides. Acid plus metal forms salt plus hydrogen. You can test for the hydrogen by using a lighted splint which gives a squeaky pop if hydrogen is present. Remember not all metals will react with acids. Those below hydrogen in the reactivity series such as copper will not undergo this reaction. It is also dangerous to use metals such as sodium and potassium in this reaction. Acid plus carbonate forms salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. To test for carbon dioxide you can use lime water. Carbon dioxide turns lime water milky. The name of the salt formed depends upon the acid used. So if I want to make some copper sulphate, I need to use sulfuric acid. If I want to make some sodium chloride, the acid I must use is hydrochloric acid. If I want to make some potassium nitrate, then I must use nitric acid. Here are four word equations for you to try and complete. Pause the video and work out the answers and then when you have finished, restart the video and listen to what the answers actually are. Number one, copper oxide plus sulfuric acid forms copper sulphate plus water. This is an example of acid plus base giving salt plus water. Number two, Sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid forms sodium chloride plus water. Again, an example of acid plus base giving salt plus water. Number three, magnesium plus nitric acid forms magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen. This is an example of acid plus metal giving salt plus hydrogen. Number four, Calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid forms calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. This is an example of acid plus carbonate giving salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. If you got any of these wrong and do not understand why, then you must see your teacher. The strength of an acid or alkali is measured on the pH scale. Remember alkalis are just bases that dissolve in water. Acids have a pH of less than 7. Alkalis have a pH of greater than 7. With 7 being neutral. Note that the pH scale runs from 0 to 14. 0 and 1 would be the strongest acidic solutions, 13 and 14 would be the strongest alkaline solutions.